500 years ago, a German monk named Martin Luther started a protest that exploded into a worldwide movement. At that time, Europe lived in the shadow of the Roman Catholic Church, and that was more like an empire than a church. It crowned and cast down kings, and used its dominance to keep people in the darkness of superstition. That sounds pretty unfamiliar, but in some ways, Luther's day was very much like our own. Just like today, everyone had an opinion about the Bible, even though almost no one actually read it. Like so many of us, they were trusting the thought leaders and tastemakers of their own day to tell them what was in the Bible and whether or not to believe it. Luther was one of the very few people actually reading the Bible, and what he found was earth-shattering. Even though he was a monk, Luther hated the God of the Bible. And when he studied it, the world around him began to make sense. God made sense. The significance of Jesus became clear to him. He discovered the answer to his deepest questions. How could evil be overcome? Specifically, how could his own evil, his own sin, be dealt with? Luther discovered that he couldn't do anything to fix this problem himself. He had to rely on the finished work of Christ alone. Luther had discovered a central truth. It changed his life, and it changed the world. The Protestant Reformation was about two things. It was about who can say what's true, and it was about how to reconcile who we are with who God is. It recognized that God's Word is the ultimate authority in this world, and that the perfect life and sacrificial death of Jesus Christ are the only answer for evil and the only basis on which sinners can stand before a holy God. Protestant Reformation is a story of transformation, a transformation from hate to love, from slavery to freedom, and from blind faith to a glorious discovery of the truth in Jesus Christ. Ligonier Ministries exists to cultivate this transformation in a new generation, in a day when few are reading the Bible and when confusion reigns in the church, we want to help Christians know what they believe and why they believe it how to live it, and how to share it. Join us.